Greetings to all my friends across the network, and I appreciate you listening to this video today. I want to say hello to all my family and say good, good friends out there. I thank you, Lord, many that I've pastored in the past, and I want to thank God for every one of you and appreciate you. I want to talk about uh, Jesus today. By his stripes were heels, the title of this message. And you know, the first incident we had in the Bible of, of God healing people was in Exodus 15 and 26. And I want to read to you what he said about that. And he said, If you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all of his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee that I brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. That is the first indication in the Bible that we have the promises of God that he will heal. And it started many years ago, almost 6,000 years ago, we had that promise that God would heal. Now that healing power, when they left, uh, when they left Egypt to go into the promised land and start on that journey, there was about a million plus people. I don't know just how many. They've estimated 600,000 to 3 million. But there was not one feeble person among them that left Egypt. That talks about the healing power of God. And that remained intact till they went uh, in a certain location and sinned and lost that privilege. And uh, I tell you what, I'm not saying that if, you, uh, if you're asking for healing today, Jesus is your healer. And I'm not saying today that you're a sinner if you don't get healed. For folks, if we have something wrong with us and we need healing in our body, all we can do is call upon the Lord and he will send healing to our body. And with so much problems going on in the world today, it, it challenges us to let us know that in spite of everything that's going, we've got every kind of disease going on in the world today. We've got everything that's happening all across the world. But folks, the promises of God are still true. They haven't changed. Uh, they're still the same. And uh, I, I am the Lord God that healeth thee. And then in, in Isaiah 53 and 5, it tells us prophecy a little bit before Jesus came into this world, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. It says again in uh, 2 Peter that, uh, that by his stripes ye were healed. So that's an indication that Jesus, the 39 stripes that were put up on his back before he went to the cross, was for our healing. And we have healing because he shed his blood for us and we can have faith and trust in God that he is going to heal us. Now, I don't always understand why some people don't get healed, but if we're saved and we're born again and we go on to be with the Lord, that's the greatest probably healing there probably is. Some people think it's a sin to die, but friends, I want to tell you, if we die in the faith of Jesus, the Bible says, precious in the eyes of the Lord are the death of his saints. But while we're here on this earth and we have a, something come up in our body, we have the privilege to access God's uh, uh, provision, and that is asking to heal us. And I'll tell you what, God has healed me many times. I thank God for the healing power of God. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the healing power of God. And I want to thank you today for accessing that and believing God for that. And I want to tell you, in all the things that's going on in our world, we have a great privilege as Christians. Some people might mock us and make fun of us and say, you know, it don't happen. God heals in a variety of ways. Sometimes it's progressive. Sometimes it's instant. Sometimes it's just, it doesn't really come like we think we should. I know that there was a problem with Paul in the New Testament. We had a thorn in the flesh, and he sought the Lord three times that God would take it away. It was a buffeter from Satan. And I'll tell you what, God didn't take it away, and he said, My grace is sufficient for thee. Just remember, God's grace is sufficient for you. If you don't get healing just like you think it should happen, keep on asking God to heal you. It's nothing wrong to keep on asking. Everyone receives if they'll ask in faith. Let us have faith and believe to the God today. Let us not drift away because of all the problems going in the world and let fear take a hold of our hearts. 
By his stripes we're healed. I want to encourage you to pray and seek God. If you need a healing today, this would be a good day to get healed. Hold on to God and believe him with all your heart and you can be healed by his power. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and may God bless you today.